वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी अबाउट एस एस डी हार्ड डिस्क डाटा रिकवरी के स्टडीज वी हैव ए डाटा हार्ड डिस्क एस एस डी एस यू सिक्स फाइव जीरो डेट इज अल्टीमेट सॉलिड स्टेट ड्राइव एस यू सिक्स फाइव जीरो इन दिस दिस एस एस डी दिस एस एस डी हैज अ नो पावर प्रॉब्लम तो दिस एस एस डी हैज अ नो पावर प्रॉब्लम तो हाउ टू रिपेयर द नो पावर प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई इट इज अ फॉर्मवेयर और कंट्रोलर दैट वी विल सो यू हियर तो स्टेप बाय स्टेप फॉर रिपेयरिंग केस स्टडी ऑफ ए डाटा एस एस डी नो पावर वी आर फ्रॉम इंटरसॉफ्ट डाटा रिकवरी एंड ट्रेनिंग वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन ट्रेनिंग ऑल्सो इन केस स्टडीज एंड वी आर रिकवर द डाटा ऑल्सो तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एस एस डी फिजिकल डाटा रिकवरी इन दिस कैन वी हैव एन ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन एंड दिस आर द स्ट्रक्चर तो वेन एवर द एस एस डी कम फर्स्ट वी विल चेक इट इज अ पावर ऑफ शॉर्ट ओपन और कोर्स वॉट इज द कंडीशन दैट वी हैव टू चेक फर्स्ट टू चेक दिस फर्स्ट स्टेटस वी वॉन्ट टू टू टैप्स टू थिंग्स वी रिक्वायर्ड वन वी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ एम्पियर मीटर दिस इज योर एम्पियर मीटर this small ampere meter if you have a laptop power supply or a, uh, mobile power supply you can use the power supply also which has an ampere like this this type of power supply also coming in the market we use this mini pass ampere meter so we will identify what the problem with this so whenever the ssd come for data recovery first we have to check the power supply and ssd only 5 watt is supply but in the rest of hard disk there is a 12 watt also supply and 5 watt also supply but in ssd or nvme there is only 5 watt supply so we have to find out the 5 watt is short open or close first we have to check this our student who have already done that uh, uh, electronics course of ssd or nvme he knows about these things but this is only for the case studies we will show you the basic about this case basic case If you want to learn step by step what is a short, what is a open, close, then you have to learn the step by step course. So if there is a shorting in the PCB, if you found a short, what is a short? Short means uh, when we check with the multimeter with the diode value plus to minus, it will show me zero 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 values. Huh? That will show me the short or directly five ampere becomes zero. That is a short. So if there is a short, we have to find the shorting component with FLRI camera. or check the capacitors switching chip all those thing what is an flri camera flri camera will show like this the ic which is overheated will show me like this and the wire is no power that will show like this so what is the temperature is very high it will show me like this so we can identify that here power is very high or maybe component may be short that we can identify the temperature So for that you need uh, the FLRI camera. If you don't have a FLRI camera, then you can touch and see the PCB. So we can check with the capacitors is short or switching chips short, anything which is short. Second, if uh, circuit is open, means 5 watt is not gone inside. 5 watt supply maybe in between there is a fuse or maybe coil or something is there. Then there is a problem in the protection that is a fuse, diode, and all those things problems are there. and if circuit is okay it shows the diode value 300 to 500 300 to 700 values but uh, putting in a diode value it shows okay means we can assume that power is going inside then uh, power supply and see the consumption of ssd if below 0.30 ampere it if it is below 0.30 ampere see it is a point below 0.30 ampere means its power supply is continuous but if more than 1 ampere or something then there is a shorting in the ssd you can identify with this ampere meter above point that ampere then check the component heat then we will check and what which component is overheated near to that capacitor or ic or transistor may be short so here also we will check first ssd with these conditions So in this we have found it is a shorting. Shorting means voltage is consumption more. This is a shorting, not full short but half short or further short. It is not open. Power is going inside, and if it is not okay, 300, 700 not showing, but some inside there is a shorting, and component is overheating. So in this our case we have found it is a short. So we will go next step with the short. so after finding short first we have to find the short but if there is no short then second stage we will connect with the ssd first we will find the short if 
okay then we will connect with this identify the component here so if short we have to repair first if open we have to repair first and if okay then we will go further this condition if okay then we will connect with mrt pc 3000 or dfl which tool you have then we give the power supply and give the power if it is not power on or not come to bz drd dsc then there is a power protection problem power protection means this is your 5 watt 3 3 pin connections are there these three these three ground these three is a 5 watt then these three are ground then this three is 3.3 like that so where is a notch that you have to find first notch before notch there is a 3 and center there is a 5 watt and this is your ground this is your ground so ground line ground line and 5 watt this 5 watt go first to your fuse then it is go inside so this you have to understand this protection section if this is damaged then it will so open but in, if it is switching section open then there is a shorting or something is there so that its power section is like that so if power section is okay then uh, MRT here light will not blow you can see the uh, light is busy come for some time one second busy come then DRD DSC come means ok if I power on no power no, no DRD nothing is run then there is a power related problems so you can identify with the, this MRT that it is condition is ok or not so first we will check the power section is ok or not ok and if the power if it's come to BZ and then not go to DRD DSC then there is a controller problem but if not going BZ then there is a power related problem that you have to find it out with this so we will found out here I will show the videos where we have done the step by step process next oh, short pin of SSD and again give the power to SSD if there is a short so how to make a short pin so in a SSD there is the two pin are short which disable the NAND to disable the NAND we will short this two pin the you can find any short pin on the SSD you can found the SSD short pin so this is your short pin 1 this is your short pin 2 uh, this is your short pin 3 like that these are the short pins are there so you can find the short pin so when we have to short the SSD we have to find the short short pin in MRT PC system they have seen this uh, in a software so sometime when it is ok and it continues busy in that time we have to short it huh? at that time we have to short it at that time this we have to short it ok so this is our shorting so if it is busy then we have to short it next SSD power supply now the power supply first we have seen the ok condition now if it is a power related problem then there is a three type of power supplies one is a protection section that is near the connector what we have seen the near the connector the whatever the components are there fuse or coil and all those things are the protection section then after protection section when the secure then it will go to the switching the switching there is two type one is a IC based switching and one other is a transistor based switching ok so a transistor based switching the switching step down DC to DC controller buck control like that and th second these are the switching two type of switching and third is a NAND power NAND IC have a power related huh? it is in power the NAND controller required any power and controller IC required different power so for that there is a two switching section three power one is going to NAND one is a controlling to here so there is a one protection that is a main connector near to connector there is a protection then switching then NAND power and controller power these are the different powers in this you can see the power IC this, this is a host connector VCC and ground VCC goes here then there is a three type of power supply one is for NAND for DDR3 and SSD controller three type of power switching is that this is a power IC base and in some transistor base so there is a three type of step down buck controller one is a transistor and one is a buck controller this is a buck controller three switching three power buck controller four power buck controller like that and some is a transistor base next you can see this is a transistor base one transistor one coil then it goes here one transistor one coil this is transistor base and one is a PMIC that is a buck controller which gives different three powers here and this power is go to one coil this power goes to another coil so this is buck controller we will see in SMP, uh, SSD when we open the SSD it will show me the here now you can see which type of power controller here the here you can found 
three transistor see one transistor uh, this here is a two second transistor and here is a three transistor but this is a transistor based switching cathode. this is one coil two coil and this is a three coil so this is a three coil three transistor which have a case this is our case we are repairing this so it has been to found out this controller next I will show the video step by after this what we have done to repair first I am explaining what is the so this is your buck controller see here no transistor only one chip that chip is different and here one coil this is token coil and this is three different switching from this coil one power second power and third power that is only one IC no tra three transistor so this is a buck controller so this is a WD model WD 240 green ussd at this so this is with the bug control start at company use the power management ic and ordinary they are using low power consumption see you can see this stage transistor what is the work of this one is the gate drain source like that switching is there and that will go to this coil first this is second phase this is top side and another is a bottom side so bottom side also two switching section here also two switching section and different there is capacitors and that is protection this is first for front there is an 5 watt you can see here the 5 watt is here and this is your protection this is your 5 watt and 5 watt first goes here from here it is fuse then it will again go here fuse and protection are there and here is the one diode these are the protection section this is your protection section then it will go to here switching section and all those things next what is a buck controller the buck controller has IC spin out like this sorry buck controller have a pin out like this so the buck controller data sheet is like this so when the power supply gives 3.3 to 5 watt there is three different white win 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 two wires then the buck 1 buck 2 buck 3 buck 1 is 1 1.3 ampere uh, power different different powers are there so these are the controller with this IC so we can identify MRT with the PC3000 with these signals after if it is ok we can check this ok the short pin also we have already explained you short pin sorry this is your data sheets up to here we will. now we will show you the practical how we repair this uh, hard disk that is this hard disk how we repair it and which component is short and when we remove it then how its data is recovered that we will show on the next videos I will explain you in the next videos this is a basic introduction about the power management different power I have explained here ok thank you